Hi everyone, my name is Howard Shu, and I'm a photographer and lecturer here at UW Bothell, both in the first year pre-major program and the School of IAS. This is my portrait series, Refuge, which examines the recent migrant crisis in Europe. If you can remember, this past summer and early fall of 2015, the world witnessed a mass migration of individuals fleeing war and violence in the Middle East, namely from Syria due to civil war. It was the largest human migration since the end of World War II and it is still ongoing. During this time, much of the coverage showed masses of nameless, faceless people madly rushing through barbed wire fence borders, as well as arriving en masse on the shores of Greece. Because of the lopsided coverage on, of these scenes, I decided to head to Munich, Germany, the first entry point into the primary destination country of these migrants, to embark on this portrait project. My main goal was to humanize these individuals and allow for the outside world to see them as regular people fleeing for their safety rather than a ravenous, desperate flood of anonymous individuals. In addition to learning their names and taking their portraits, I work specifically to collect their stories of the dangerous journey, what they left behind in their home countries, and their hopes for the future. I encourage you to come down here and view the portraits and read what each of them have been through. Originally, I thought that this work would have a short shelf life, being quickly replaced with other news. But because of the latest terrorist attacks in Paris and California, assisting migrants and refugees still remains an ongoing hot button issue. Currently, there's rhetoric in the US presidential campaign and certain sectors of our society that want to divide us into camps of us versus them. The project was published on the website Mashable on September 25th, 15, and my hope is that it continues to allow viewers to connect on an individual level and understand that we have a shared humanity and shared fight against extremism, radicalism, and false ideology. I hope that this work and projects like it can make a difference in our collective decision making at home and abroad in helping migrants and refugees who have given up everything and are fleeing for their lives. Thanks for your time, and thanks to the Student Success Center for allowing me to hang my work in the gallery.